Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. As always, I feel well rested and feel strong. There's actually in the forecast, I got a little excited there for a second, uh, but it's only going to be cloudy in a couple days. Not that I'm hoping for rain at this point because the wife has made some meals and such. Uh, what do we have to do today? So fix a building, and I kind of like this one, so hopefully it's this building right here. Uh, that, that could pay quite a bit of money. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, there's two jobs up here if we scroll in. Fix a building. Fix a building. Okay, so just fix the building jobs today. Really quick. No, stop. Er, er. Let's just let's get up here and do these up here. So after we do fix the building jobs, which you know are not going to pay too much. Although the one down there can. We'll do the one down there after we bring our tractor and the seed roll down to finish seeding the big field. I didn't look. Were they at the pond or the church? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, must be there at the church. Because there's no one there. Well, I mean, there's not no one there. There's someone there. Just that no one there with a job for us. Uh, what, it, is today Sunday? No, it's a Saturday, but there are tons of people at the church. No, no, don't go anywhere yet, dear. On top of all this, oh, my it's you again. Killing me. Uh, yes, just give me... Don't I'm go anywhere, because it's not going to take me long, sir. Me? A building on my farm needs some care. What do you think? Although, if you're sending me to actually to your farm and not across two hundred, sounds you good. Cheap I'll take care turd. of this. Nothing ever changes. Really this All right, uh, That's you stay here. I'll go do your <laughs> two hundred dollar, four hundred social point job. Ah, <sighs> I mean, you can't get any cheaper than that. I realize I'm just going here to stare at a building. Did I just see like a foot stick to that building? All right, then. I'm seeing things. Never mind. Hopefully he's not going anywhere. David. 200 bucks. At least he didn't go anywhere. Come back here, sir. Thank you. Here's something for you. That's pretty disturbing. I hope it'll change someday. Uh, okay, so I know there's two jobs that were here. Do they deliver? Don't think so. You know what could be the problem? As I teleport a little bit. Uh, could be because my food condition is down. Uh, nope, someone is running away from me. In that direction. The foot race is on. And if they're running and I'm running, I don't know who's going to win out. At least we'll get we'll get our exercise in for the day. Where are they going? Of course, the marker is just where I marked the map, not where they actually are at the moment. Uh, actually, can I... Oh, I just want to pick that up quickly. Okay, they're now, whoops, down here. <sighs> I'm glad uh, my character is in better shape than I am in real life. Do I even see anyone in the vicinity? No. All right, where do they go? Now they're over here. These AI just run around here. Where Oliver? Really, Oliver? If you send me back up to the church here to talk. Hello, nice to see you. Yeah, stop running away from me. 
I am looking for work. Got anything for me? A building on my farm needs some care. What do you think? That's a better price. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. The question is, where am I going? Because now we're in the middle of a field. No, we're going to his house. No, we're not. We're going back up to the... Uh, oh, Oliver. <sighs> Some days you just can't win. So I hope when we go down and do the other fix the building job down where we got to finish seeding our field, that's the nice paying one. I mean, we will get our minimum 1,000 social points today, which, you know, as long as we do that, keep saying that, as long as we do that, 1,000 social points per day, well, we should, we should be able to reach our goal by the end of the year. But after we do this, that's 1,000 social points already. And then hopefully the other one is, you know, the, was it 720 or 760? I always get confused. That'll be another 1,500 social points if we're that lucky. Do I look like I care? No, hey, I wasn't talking to you anyways. Uh, no, fence is over here. All right, Oliver, where are you actually? You know what? I'm just going to hop in our tractor or the wife's tractor. Uh, speaking of which, hey, watch what you do with that hole. Hi, babe. Good to see you. I missed you. Didn't we talk yesterday? You look so pretty today. It is so nice to hear. Thank you. I do what I can. Honey? Do you know I'm really hungry? Hello, darling. Let's see nice how she is. Nice to see you, love. How are you? I'm perfect, darling. Thank you. Uh, darling? We'll just tell her off to work. Good morning, dear. If I could just stay in the dialogue, that'd be fantastic. I am off to work. Have a great day. Bye, sweetheart. Yeah, this time, uh, stay. You know, you can't leave Timmy alone. I caught you yesterday. You were gone somewhere. Then somehow you disappeared right in the kitchen. Uh, I want to get rid of this. There we go. Uh, let's head on down to the pantry. I, I do have enough food for a while, but I'm just curious to see what she's doing. Yep, yeah, she is, uh, I'm trying to slide it over. Uh, move to inventory. Now, we'll leave the fish there, actually. I really don't know why I'm carrying the chainsaw and the fishing pole on me now, but, you know, I got room in my inventory, so we shall. All right, so let's go back. I think I left my tractor parked here. Yes, we did. Crops are growing nicely. And I do believe we watered them yesterday, so... Uh, without opening the door, I can see the needles pointing straight up, so it should be just fine. So let's hop in our tractor, back up. We gotta put more maize back in here. And uh, now we can just go to the arrow, because that's where Oliver is. Go get our social points from him. I would assume he's going back home. So we'll try to cut him off at the pass by going this way. Yeah, I know I'm really hungry. I'll eat in a second. I'll eat when I get down there and finish the other job. Unless I have to eat in order to get the job. If that makes sense. Oliver, you were a tough one to deal with this morning. Thank you. Here's something for you. Thank you. I like uh, having doing a drive-by. So there's 640 social points from him, and we got 400 from the first job, so there's 1,000 for the day. But obviously, the more that I want, the better. And well, the more that we can get, the better. 
so like I, m most of the time I could do, I was reading the discussion forum before recording. And actually there was a couple people in there asking about the Steam achievement that we're after. I think it's called Beloved or something like that, which is a million social points. And some people were saying, no, it's just the total amount of social points you get over time. And I was getting ready to reply to it, but someone replied to them and said, no, you got to have the one million social points on you in order to get the achievement. And apparently they got the achievement. So, you know, congrats to them for doing that. Because that's a million social points is a lot. If I wasn't making uh, YouTube videos, I probably would have been at a million so social points by now. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know I, I, my shoelaces look divinely like pasta. I don't think so. So yeah, as far as I can tell, because I, I would have... Uh, am I going to have to eat something? Yes, I'm going to have to eat now, because the job is not showing for me. Uh, we'll have a hamburger. Okay, so now we're almost right on top of whoever... That's not Tom. But I probably have accumulated a million social points since the game started. Like I said, I spent some when I bought my first tractor. No, when I bought the harvester for sure. Hi. Good afternoon, friend. Uh, afternoon? Uh, okay. Is there something I can help you with? I still with? think it's morning. A building on my farm needs some care. What do you think? Oh, please tell me it's the good... Yeah, uh, 760. Sounds thank good. You. I'll take thank care you, of thank this. Thank you, That definitely makes up for the first job I got. But it's not afternoon, no. So as far as the voiceovers and last update, the only ones I see that are not quite in sync with the dialogue is when they say good morning or whatever. Uh, the first time we talked to him. Some of those don't quite equal up. Like you just saw there, dialogue said good morning. She said good afternoon. I was like, wait a minute, is it afternoon? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you. Here's something for you. Nope, thank you. Ah, oh, getting closer to 800,000. Alright, so we gotta go finish sowing this field and then we will grab our new fertilizer spreader we'll fill that up and come down here and see how far we can get on the two fields down here and then after that uh, it's pretty much just doing jobs for the people for a while I won't have no field work to do at all for a while so like I said, I'm not sure how I'm going to record those episodes just yet. Uh, because basically be just what we did right now and I'll be like, okay, now I'm done for the day. Now what? Now what? So I suppose I, for a while I could just record us doing some... <laughs> some jobs for AI workers for a while. That's it. Like I said, it's the only problem with Farmer's Dynasty at the moment, once you get this situation like I am, you pretty much, all, all you can do is work for other people and, you know, your days go by quickly, which is fine if you're not making videos. You don't you just do work, skip the next day and you're fine, but when you're trying to make videos and keep it interesting, it's going to be kind of difficult. I mean, I suppose I can take my chainsaw around, cut some of these bushes up and whatnot. Uh, I can't even mow the yard because the grass hasn't grown yet, but I'm thankful for that. Uh, so where am I at here? 81%. So, like always, I am going to make some laps here. And I'll bring it back when the field's just about done. We should be able to finish this field with this tank. No problem at all. Uh, I would assume we're going to have like somewhere around 48, 49% seed left when I get done. So yeah, I'll see ya shortly.
Well, here we are into our little cubby hole of the field. This little tiny section. I will be kind of curious how much of the field actually gets sowed. On a big field like this, I'm hoping for 99%. Although you see little sections like this that I missed when the sun was out early that morning. Of course, a little section like that is not going to mean too much on a big field like this. We'll see how much we got done when it looks like we are finished. Yeah, sometimes that glare of the sun on the ground can make it a little difficult to see where you've been, where you haven't been. And then sometime in July, this field should be ready. Actually, May, June. Yeah, sometime in July, this field should be ready to be harvested. And then we start the process all over again, getting it ready for the winter. I'm not going to try to rush. Why well, say that now? We'll, we'll wait until the fields are ready. So what we get done? 99.03% done and 48% seed left in the seed roll. So what I'm looking for, not too bad. So head back to the farm, empty the seed roll, uh, give it a good wash. And uh, we'll pick up its uh, cousin, the Amazon artificial fertilizer spread. I don't know what the model number is. I forgot. D no, the D40 is at... Uh, bale trailer that we didn't buy yet. But back to the farm. Time we get do all the things we need to do to get back to the field it'll probably be close to you know twelve thirty, one o'clock. And then that'll be most of our well that will be our fields being done. Take my shortcut over this bouncy terrain. Try to break the three point linkage on the seed roll as it bounces up and down. Yep, seed roll needs a good wash before we put it away. Sometime soon, though, some of these crops should be hitting the second stage of growth. Although we are still in April. I don't even remember what fields I seeded first. I want to say the ones down there. You can probably peek from the top of this hill what they're doing. Yeah, I want to say the, the fields right in front of us are the, one of the first ones that we did. But we hired so much help at the beginning of the season. Because the way the field, we set up our fields, you know, we seed them all in September. When April 1st comes, every field is ready to be harvested. So we were just clicking. Actually, no, didn't we do the fields down where we just were first? Yeah, I can't remember now. Cannot remember. Yeah, there's our... There's a seed, uh, yeah, the seed drill. The fertilizer spread right up there. But first things first, take care of what we got on the tractor. Empty that. Wife is hard at work after giving birth just a few days ago. Oh, stop it. And there we go. Wash vehicle. Now this is the only piece of equipment that we actually parked down here. You know what? Let's just park it up there with everything else. Might as well. There we go.
If only we could, we could build a shed and garage up here. Okay, let's go fill up this guy. This is a ZAM1501. Boy, the tractor's sitting off a little already with it, without even any fertilizer in it. Wow, looks like the tires are just about <laughs> hitting the fenders. Alright, so let's head all the way back on down to the field we were just in. Then we'll get to fertilizing. Alright, at the big field, 3,000 kilograms of artificial fertilizer in the back. And I'm hitting the wrong button for the wrong game to activate that. It's the Z button on this one. Now usually, like I said, with the other artificial fertilizer, it with the, taking two trips, meaning two tanks on that, I would probably cover close to 90% of the field. So obviously I'm hoping with this one, I should be able to cover the whole field no problem. And with the speed we're going, we're going to cover more area with the fertilizer that we have as well. The trailer one can be slow you down quite a bit when you take corners. Obviously with this one here, it's everything... I mean, when I take a corner with this one, it's just going to whip right around on us. It's just a matter of getting the width of this, you know, learning what the width of it can cover. It's not, it doesn't seem like the fertilizer is going down that fast either. I mean, for the amount of field that we covered, we're doing pretty good. I'll try to overlap just a bit, because I, like I said, I think we got more than enough. I took the corner a little bit too late there because I was, you know, not used to going the corner that fast and try to try to turn. And right now the front of the tractor is a little bit light. But this uh, piece of equipment that just came out in the last patch is well worth the money, I believe. If you got enough fields like we have. Yeah, this machine definitely is the way to go. Now, like I said, don't remember what the cost of the other one is, so if money is uh, tight for you. I mean, if you could hold out and wait to get this one, I would. Eighty-four percent left in the tank. And it doesn't turn that well because you, you got to understand there's no weight on the front wheels right now. So I am overlapping a little bit in some of the corners, but that's fine. I don't mind wasting a little bit of fertilizer. Money is not an issue in our farm. Nothing is an issue, issue in our farm really. So, But you still try to do the best job that you can.
Yeah, so probably usually right about now is when with the other trailer I'd be having to go back to the farm and refill it. I think what I'm going to do is not try to turn here. I'm just going to go up here. Turn it off. Make a nice loop. And having such a big tank like this, I don't mind overlapping now. Just a bit to cover the field better. Because now, I don't have to try to stretch it out to make the tank complete the entire field. So now I'm actually trying to cover the field as best as I can. So we may actually get up to like, you know, 95%. Maybe. Yeah, I remember when I was doing the update video and I went down to the store and I saw this. I'm like, well, why would anyone really want this? And then when I saw the capacity of it, I'm like, wait a minute, that seems... <laughs> I couldn't believe it held that much more than the uh, the trailer. The, the You know, the trailer one. I was like, are you kidding me? I said, oh yeah, it must be the trailer one holds 12,000. I'm like, no, the trailer one only holds 1,200. All right. So we still got pretty close to 70% fertilizer left in the tank. Yeah, so this is going to allow us to cover the fields much better. Uh, less trips back to the farm. Having a refill. If only when you go to the agricultural store you can buy more than a thousand at a time. This definitely is going to, you know, save us a lot of trips back and forth to the farm when we start fertilizing more. So yeah, we'll be using this on all the fields that we can now. Obviously, it's worth the money for the fertilizer when your crops grow that much better. So basically when we filled up this tank with 3000 it you know that's $3000. We will get that money back no problem just alone on this field but we're not, we're not going to use the full tank in this field. We shouldn't. I mean we're already you know 76% coverage on this field. And usually I'm just happy getting around 90% with the spreader. But now as you can see we're overlapping probably too much. But I'm just trying to get full coverage on the field as I can. Yeah, we're already at 80%. You can see we still got a huge area of the field to cover. So getting up in the, you know, mid to upper 90s is not out of reach, maybe. And even the speed that we're doing it at is so much better than the than the one that you pull behind the trailer. Although I'm not sure you would fertilize at this speed in real life, but you know. I don't make the rules. I just take it to the limit. Kind of.
Look at that, we're almost at 90%. Still got more than half the tank left. It's not only does this tank hold more at the speed that we're going at and spreading it, it's going to use less on the field than what the other one did. So, yeah, this may cost more. But since it's actually using less per field to spread, you will get your money back on it pretty darn quick. Of course, I'm saying it costs more. Like I said, I don't, I don't remember how much that trailer cost. And I'm not sure I'll probably ever use it again. <laughs> I never really liked it when it first came out. It was better than the one you get from doing the quest at the beginning. That little raggedy, wonderful piece of equipment that's got... <laughs> you look at it and I feel like I need a tetanus shot, you know. From all the rust that's on it. I know I got some missed spots here and there. Look at that. Fertilized. 99%. Plowed. Cultivated. 100%. Fertilized. 99%. Yeah, I got some spots here and there, but you know what? We're going to call that good. And I'll, I'll only use 1,500 kilograms now. Like I said, when I was using the trailer down here, I'd have to use the trailer twice. So that's 2,400 kilograms I'd use it, and it would only cover the field 90%. So, yeah, this is using a lot less fertilizer, and you don't have to make trips back and forth. So I would, you know, at this point, you know, they could change how this works and the stats on it and how much it depletes. But yeah, this is the way to go right here. And now I get to do more fields. And I don't have to go back to the farm. Actually, I try to remember that this is lupine in this field, right? Uh, yeah, lupine. I actually used to hate doing the artificial fertilizer with that trailer. I hate to keep putting down that trailer, but you know, it is what it is. I just didn't didn't like it. If you took a corner too sharp, it would you know bind up your tractor, slow you way down. And this tractor didn't really have the horsepower to get, you know, get a good run of speed after from a dead stop with it. Yep, trying to turn off the spreader as you're trying to turn with it. My clumsy fingers weren't fast enough to turn. Now, I'm not going to bother with the... Uh, uh, slurry spreader because we really don't have that much slurry and I'm trying to save as much as I can for the summer harvest. And then trying to build up a little bit. Definitely try to save up for when we do, do the harvest for the fall. So our fields are well fertilized for the canola for the winter.
Still got 40% fertilizer in the tank. This is nice. I would have made so many trips back to the farm to refill before. But if they really want to make my dream come true, give give me a bigger cult, uh, cultivator. <laughs> The plow, I can, you know, that I, I don't have no prop issue with the plow, uh, the size of it, and all that. But the cultivator it seems like we could use a. Well, I think we could use a bigger one. Yeah, it does take a while to plow. But like I said, if we get a bigger plow, I don't think this tractor could handle it. This tractor should be able to handle a bigger cultivator than what we have already. Right, let's get this last strip. Already this 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 spreader is saving us money on fertilizer. I mean I still got over a thousand kilograms of fertilizer. And let's see. Ninety nine percent of the field done. This is almost a two hectare field. That's seven and a half. That we just did nine and a half hectares with two thousand kilograms of fertilizer. So basically, I just fertilized those two fields for two thousand dollars. With the other fertilizer spreader, I probably would have spent close to thirty-five hundred dollars to do those two fields. So we already saved fifteen hundred, and this fertilizer was what? Was it 8,000? Or was it 16? I can't remember now. Maybe someone can remember or go back and check the videos yourself. But, you know, already we saved lots of money and we only fertilized two fields. But, wow, it's already 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So, yeah. All of our fields are pretty much we're done working in our fields until it's time to harvest. I'm not going to go around and try to fertilize some fields, some, you know, some have crop destruction, some don't. And I'm just not... Really, car? AI traffic. Gotta love it. Yeah, so next time when, uh, in the summer when we harvest our fields, we'll, we will fertilize the fields as best we can with this little sucker. But yeah, I'm loving this little piece of equipment already. And I don't think it even got dirty enough to even wash it. We will empty it. You don't want to leave fertilizer in your machine too long because it'll just eat away at it. I'm just curious. I don't have nothing in the grain side. No, it's empty. Like, I don't have any grain in storage, do I? And I kind of forgot about it. Uh, empty the fertilizer. There we go. We'll go park up here, and we might as well fill up our tractor and give it a good wash. I just realized I'm parking all the Amazon stuff together. Looks nice. Starting to get a fleet of them. It's perfect. Refuel. 
and wash. And we're going to park her right here with our scaffolding in hand. I don't have nothing in that silo either, do I? No, it's empty. Wife is out uh, back to cooking again. She's cooking a lot more, maybe for the kid, I don't know. I just called him the kid. I just called my kid the kid. But guys, as you can realize at this point, that's going to do it for today. So hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I appreciate you watching as always. And I'll see you next time on the Day in the Fire. But until then, have a good one.